my channel holistic beauty rn if you're new here welcome and if you're an og oldie but a goodie welcome back so as promised if y'all seen from my last video um, where i had showed y'all how to detangle your hair after taking down a protective style if y'all seen that video or if y'all haven't seen that video go check it out i'll link it above for you uh, but if y'all have seen that video as promised i'm giving a part two to show y'all how it looked like uh, once I style my hair and then also to do a leg check. Hello, a leg check. Um, from my last time that I used uh, water, or from the, actually the last time that I did my leg check, which was a two month update after I used my rice water, I first started. So just a quick recap for y'all, for those of y'all who may be new to my channel, or maybe not, you maybe just forgot, cause I know it's been a while. Um, I first started using my rice water on April 24th. April. So I first started using my rice water April 24th. So today would be almost a four month update from using rice water. So now today I'm gonna give y'all a leg check showing my four month, that's right, you heard it, my four month update from using rice water. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show y'all this cute little style that I did after taking down my hair. You guys could just see, look at this growth here. Just even, this ain't the real one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it once I take down my hair, but I just wanted to show y'all the current condition of my hair now. I had did a two strand twist all the way throughout and just kind of pinned it. What I do is when I do the two strand twist, I'll take it, stretch the hair and pin it up somewhere so that it can ultimately allow it to stretch to the full maximum so it can be stretched. Cause you know, your girl likes shrinkage and all, but I also like my length too. So man, this came out really good. So how have y'all been? Oh my goodness. I feel like it's been some time since I've really been doing videos because if y'all don't already know, I had took about a month off from doing videos on YouTube, which is not like me. I was usually coming with videos twice a week, sometimes three times a week. Um, but I had to take about a month off because I was studying for my nurse practitioner board exam because I was in school. I just completed my family nurse practitioner um, school program in May and I was studying for my board certification exam because once you finish school you have to sit for your board so that you can be a certified uh, nurse practitioner. So I was studying, I took about a month off to really study for that. So I'm officially a board certified family nurse practitioner. For those of y'all who don't know, a family nurse practitioner is an advanced practice registered nurse. So I'm a, I was already a registered nurse, but um, now being in um, a family nurse practitioner, that's a higher level nurse. So you have your registered nurse and then your advanced practice registers, registered nurse is a higher level nurse. Um, so that's what's been going on with me, why I had to take a little break, because obviously I had to, you know, um, really allow myself to fully focus and study for that. Hope y'all are doing good. How are y'all holding up in this pandemic? I know here where I'm at, you know, luckily things have opened back up. I think AMC, the movie theaters, um, because we got AMC out here, they just opened up yesterday. This is how it's looking after I took them down. So of course I just had them pinned. This would be cute if I did my like, like a little style like this, have my little bangs. Uh -uh, it's been so long since I wore a twist out, y'all. I'm like super. Ooh, wait, y'all see this definition? Look at that definition, y'all. Oh, we. I'm liking it. taken down all the twists as you can see and oh my gosh y'all I am in love with my hair right now like look at this definition these twists are so defined I mean like look at that look at that do y'all see what I see look at that and then you stretch it out and it goes right back 
I love it. I love it. Yes, yes. So we are going to do a length check. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm so glad that I stretched these twists out. So what I would typically do, as I've done in my other videos, I would just grab the hair and stretch it and see where it falls. So I'm going to hold it right with my finger where it falls. And this is my collarbone here. And I always love to use my collarbone as a measurement because that's where it all started pretty much. Before my rice water journey, um, before I started using my rice water on April 24th, my hair was collar bone level. I kid y'all not, again, see it in the videos. I have them there as proof. Y'all can see for yourselves. My hair started off at the collarbone level. About two weeks later, it was just a little bit below the collarbone level, probably like a centimeter or so. A month later, it was a little bit below that. Two months later, a little bit below that. Um, I would say like mid, probably like an, maybe like an inch and a half below my collarbone level, like two month level. And this is how much my hair has grown. Just four months after rice water use, I am not making this up. <laughs> Look at my videos if y'all don't believe me and y'all can see for y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with these twists. So I'm probably gonna leave it like this. I don't know if I wanna separate them further. Okay, you guys, so I played around with my hair a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I separated the twist even further. And on top of that, I used my pick and kind of picked it out to kind of give it a little more added volume and oomph. So um, once I did that, I just kind of braided it up on one side, braided it up on the other, had my bang kind of flipped over. So you kind of get this little draping. I love the draping bang, you know, when it come over your eye a little bit, even though it's kind of like uh, in your eye, you got to get it out your face every now and then. But it still has a cute little look and like they say pain is beauty. So I'm willing to take the pain for the beauty. So um, yeah, I just did a little some some just to kind of give it a little added edge. And I think it's cute. What y'all think? Do y'all like the end results? I don't know. Just trying something a little different. Fluff it out a little bit to kind of give it a little more volume. And uh, I like it. I was thinking maybe I could add like a little, a little cute little sideburn. I'm not good with the edges. I've never really been into the edges and all that, but maybe I might want. So I was just trying to see if y'all like it, what y'all think. All right, try something new. <laughs> I know y'all, I'm a mess. I hope you guys um, make sure that you enjoy life, live it to the fullest, and make sure to fulfill your purpose, whatever that is, okay? So I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, you guys, peace, love, and happiness. Don't forget to like, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below. I love to read y'all comments. Don't feel like I'm ever too bothered or too busy because I genuinely love reading y'all comments and I always respond to all comments. So if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever the case may be, go ahead and drop it in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe so you see more videos like this coming from me. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's